Inakuwa jo tongo nguvu, mina itua presenter Ali, your entertainment PA, and by the way, the A is always for amazing siku zote. Natia vidi kwa kikisho kwa mana kuletea stories, tofauti za burudani, and of course, uh, leo ni me kuja kupiga story na mwanangu nguvu. You guys always love him, you guys always ask for him. The truth watchdog, vipi nugi yangu? Mini kofresh, na shukuru sana manyezi mungu. Uh -huh. Na kwa sapo, tamba mafans wako pia wamenipatia, umeanza kusubscribe pale. Yeah. Na naomba pia wendele kusubscribe, yes. ili wapate ukweli wa mambo katika hii mitandao yetu ya Kenya. Nasemaga unafanyia nini watu kweli? Tunaomezesha. Uh -huh. So ladies and gentlemen kama K kama Kawa, uh -huh. uh, Truth Watchdog hapa na kuleta ukweli kada ukipenda una meza ukikata tunakumezesha. Kwa ni iko nini na tukana ka evidence. Kuna ka evidence. Kwa hivyo story zako of course haujawahi kuzungumzia story ambazo hazina evidence. Tuanzie hapa. Sijawahi bro, naogopa sana. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu unajua mambo na kuexpose, it's very sensitive matter. Mm -hmm. So ukuja uzungumzia mtu, ama uzungumzia biashara. Mm -hmm. Alafu biashara mtu ya ribike ipatikane kwa ni stories za uongo. Mm -hmm. Inakuwa kidogo ni we. Noma. Noma sana ya sadi yangu. Eh. Yeah. Kwa mtu wakikutafuta kwa mbikuna hii story flani ambayo nataka uexpose. Uwa, uwa, uwa utaratibu ni upi? Hata siku expose, kuna ingino kipia unakuja wanasema, kuna, kuna mtu flani maybe ya mekufa, mm -hmm. ama kuna mgonjwa flani, ama kuna school fees tunatafuta. Mm -hmm. So kitu cha kwanza unapata hiyo information. Usikuwa kwanza kuchukua kamera, kuwasha, na kwanza kufanya video, mm -hmm. ati usipomfanyia, atenda kwa mengine. Mm -hmm. Heri yaende. Mm -hmm. So yu cha kwanza ni, ok, ni mekusikia, mm -hmm. alafu na mpa namba yangu. Na mambia ni pigia na ina mba, ma, sa, uh, maybe time flani, time flani hivya. Mm -hmm. Alafu kinipigia, mimi kwanza ni kusikia na yo story yako. Mm -hmm. Then kisha kusikia uwa unajifanya ni mekusikia na ni mm -hmm. Then da kupigia tena badae, mm -hmm. sasa kukompare the audio that I have mm -hmm. and the information you are giving me right now. Mm -hmm. So kinipatizu information mbili nione, actually the difference is very minimal. Mm -hmm. That is when we meet. Mm -hmm. Tukikutana sasa ndio tunenda kwa ground. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is happening here and there and there. Mm -hmm. Nikipata ni real, then I'll come and say about it. Yeah. And also warn Kenyans if it is something to warn them. Yeah. But kama ni story ya kupiga tu, Ayo vipindi tafta mgini. Yeah. Kwa hivyo lazima tufuatilie karibu, mm -hmm. tujue kuna hili na hili, na hapa kuna danganyo. Yeah. Kwa sababu juzi nimekuwa na akuru, mm -hmm. nimefanya 12 stories. Yes. Then nika jiambia, wacha nisikizi these stories one by one before I air them. Mm -hmm. Brojo stories zote has make sense. Zote. Zote has make sense. So I wasted my cash. Mm -hmm. Na by the way, likuwa under sponsorship. Mm -hmm. Thanks be to Wandae. Kuna very serious sponsorship wakati na muambia tu, eh ni aje bro, ama ni aje sizi kuna... Taka kufanya hii kitu, lakini sina hela. Masikia tuwe na shida, ngapi, fanya budget yako ntumie. So nilikuwa nime supportiwa, lakini tulipotezeo pesa kwa sabu. Hizi story zote, hata nilitumbia mwenye alikuwa me support. Nikambia si izisikize tu kama mtu mwenye unijui. Mm -hmm. Unambia kama hii si uongo. Mm -hmm. So, ninge post, ninge pata views, na ninge pata subscribers. Mm -hmm. But sio kila mtu utafull. Nugget. Yeah. With time, utaona tu 1, 2, 3, wasawanza kujoin dots. Yeah. Wewe, kuna kitu natafuta. Yeah. So, wana... No gopa sana kuleta story kama hizo za wongo. Yeah. Ushi pata mtu ambaye ame kuletia pia story nataka kumexpose mtu kumbe uyo mtu ana makosa ama ni wongo. Yes, 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 yes. Kama mneza kumbuka, kuna story ya Riko Mondi niluwai kufanya kwa ele channel ambayo ilipotea. Yes. Maboizo wame nipigia simu wame nembe Riko Mondi hame tuibia pesa. Mm -hmm. Ndo hii evidence wame ntumia mapicha. Yes. Yeah. Nika sema, oh, uko serious ya mwili mtumia donga api 30,000. Yeah. Mwili mtumia 30,000 ya mkona namba ya Riko Mondi? Mm -hmm. Ndiyo. Aya ni tumia ni namba yuriko mondi. Mm -hmm. Waka make mistake waka ni tumia namba. Mm -hmm. So kwa ni tumia namba yuriko mondi ni kambia ni aje. Iyo pesenye tarudi saa sa hii. Mm -hmm. So shikili hapa kwa line. Iyo unakolo unajua na mweka hold. Mm -hmm. So ni kapigi yuriko mondi. Lucky enough yuriko mondi ya kashika simu. Mm -hmm. Kambia ni aje bro. Kuna tu iwana claim hapa. Umekula 30,000 yao. Umekata kutokia kwa video. Mm -hmm. So Eric pia unajua lazima afanya interrogation zake. Mm -hmm. Aje mulipata na aje hapa hivi. Mm -hmm. So meni kama mbia process haka nambia. Weni sawa ni add kwa yo call. Ni kama add kwa call. So I was calling this young man nika. Sasa ika kwa ni ile call ya conference. Eriko Mondi ya kanza kwa uliza maswali. Oh bro, Iza, Manzejo, unajua. Sasa ini ujinga gani. Imagine kama ningeenda ni post. Eriko Mondi steals 30,000 from upcoming artists. I would have been sued. So you need to really confirm each and every information you give out there. Because utajikosea ujue watu anatoka mainstream media. Kuna citizen. Kuna Nation TV, mm -hmm. kuna KTN, mm -hmm. kuna hizi mainstream ziko. Mm -hmm. So watu wanaona, ah, wale wanachukua time, mtangazaji ya kuja aleze nini, situ kwa kwa, kwa ground. Mm -hmm. Eni aja wa seri, komondi ndio ya mefanya hivi, uku kumefanyika hivi. So wanataka hiyo information ya raka without wasting their time. Mm -hmm. But unapata, tunakosea sasa hizi mainstream media zote. Mm -hmm. 
kwa sababu ya nini tunaleta uongo mm. tunadanganya wa Kenya yeah. and that is that is what is really really uh, hurting mm -hmm. the online media family yes yep. pengine uh, uh, juzi niliona kwenye live yako na a few videos ambazo umefanya kuna kijana fulani atutamtaja tu jina tusimpe promotion ya bure Apana. lakini uh, ulizungumzo ukasema kwamba ana expo uh, ana an, anatumiwa hela na watu tell us a little bit more about that okay so kijana kwa kwenye mitandao ya youtube okay na ako labda kwenye tiktok pia nimempata kwa kwenye twitter nimekuwa nikimfuatilia kwa karibu sana mm -hmm. so huyu kijana sio kama youtubers wa kawaida mm -hmm. sio kama wale watu ambao mnajua for example tuna watu wa loyalty test mm -hmm. yeye anakuja anaongea na kapo hapo kando anakuja anafanya entertainment hakuna kitu cha kuomba mtu pesa hakuna kitu cha kuitisha ati oh sijui mpesa support and stuff hamna kitu kama hicho entertainment go kuna wao wengine wanafanya si loyalty test kuna wao wengine wanafanya nini e... gold diggers pia wanafanya entertainment yao wanaenda wanaongea na msichana kabla wanakuja kwa advertise magari za wenyewe show inaisha kila mtu anafurahia kila mtu anacheka inaisha lakini sasa ukijana anafanya vitu specific sana Juzi baba Mona amefariki. Yeah. Huyu kijana ameenda kaleta mtu ambaye si wa familia kidogo kabisa. Mm -hmm. Hata ajui huko ni wapi. Mm -hmm. Ati yeye ni ndugu wa the late baba Mona. Mm -hmm. Okay? Ndugu wa kwa wife mm -hmm. wa late baba Mona. Mm -hmm. Sasa huyu jamaa anakuja hapa anajiongea, "Oh, sijui nini dada yangu, nini nini baba Mona, baba Mona." Wakafanya fundraising kwamba wanapeleka pesa kwenye matanga. Mm -hmm. Pesa zikatafutwa 1 2 3. Pesa zilipeana wapi? Haijulikani. Hakuna. Okay. Aya. Hiyo ilikuwa ya mwanzo mwanzo tu. Lakini amekuwa kileta watu wagonjwa. Oh huyu ni mgonjwa. Ukweli mtu ni mgonjwa kwa kweli. E, tunataka kumfanyia fundraising. Watu wanatuma mihela. Kwa especially hawa wasiana wa golf na watu ambao wanaishi nje ya nchi kama tuseme Amerika hivi, wanaona ah huyu kijana anafanya kitu ya maana, ni vizuri tumsupport, aweze kusupport hawa majamaa. Una get? So kuna mtu anakuja hapa anatoa kitu kama 200,000. Anatoa 500,000. Hautawahi jua wewe. So what happens kwizi ile kitu mbaya specifically kijana anafanya ni tunachangishia Ali. So nitakuja nikwambie Ah uh, itabidi umefungua namba na kufungulia namba utanipatia details ndio niweze kujua ni mpesa pesa ngapi naingia. So watu wanapotuma pesa wanajua inakuja kwako lakini pesa inakuja kwa hivyo ndio huko kijana anadu. So unaona kwa hivyo huko kijana kazi yake ni kuchukua watu na anaeka pale namba ingieni e, hapa mkuje mniambie shida ni gani tusaidiane. So huko kienda pale hivyo unafikiria ah huu mse ni real alisaidia ule kupata school fees alisaidia ule mama kwenda OC kasaidia huyu kufanya nini so nyinyi wenye mnakuja hapo na shida nyinyi mnatumika tu kama tools kusaidia huyu jamaa so tuseme kama milioni moja imekuwa raised wewe unaweza tumia maybe 100000 ama 200000 kama mfurahia una get ama upewe nothing upewe kitu kama 40000 we raised 40000 kwa sababu kuwa nayo unasema nini asante una get so this is what this young man has been doing for long ikabidi okay uh, ulijuaje kwanza i planted there my mall okay Yes this is how it gets unajua sisi kama kusema vitu kuhusu Ali kama i have no idea about Ali na kitu kingine wa Kenya wanafaa ku understand sorry kitu kingine wa Kenya wanafaa ku understand mimi bro siwezi sitawahi hata kama unaibia watu pale mimi nakuona unaibia watu sitawahi kuanika unajua ni kwa nini ushawahi ona polisi anakuja kusema huyu ni mwizi ah watu ndio wanakuja na ripoti una get kwa hiyo kuna hawa wagonjwa alianza hivyo Huu jamaa anasemanga anasaidia watu fundraising lakini hizi pesa zikifika tuna doubt hivyo ndio zilifika sababu hataki tuone transactions one kitu ya pili watu wakaanza ku complain kwenye hapo comments we bro mbona unaleta mtu mwenye sio family member wa baba Mona mimi najua baba Mona wote huyu ni nani una get so wasa wakaanza ku complain wakaananiambia eh truth watch dog hebu chunguzo mse hizi story zake tuna zidoubt ni real ama ni uongo siwezi rukia kusema ni uongo so nikachukua boy wangu anaitwa Lavi Davi nikamwambia kile kipindi hata msaidie msupport akisema tuongee mbaya kuhusu Andrew Kibe akisema tuongee mbaya kuhusu Ali kapeleke kapeleke mpaka kuwe open to understand how does he operate so my mall in his camp after nimetosheka na information nimegather nikamwambia kuja kwanza ni kuintroduce so ndio huyo kijana mnaona na marasta amekaa pale amechunguza youtubers wengi sana na bro nakwambia listen ref kwa youtubers wengi ambao wanafanya is this form of interviews wanaibia wa Kenya kuna wengine hata sitaki kuwataja but you can't imagine hata ile stories unajua say hii stories za kukuja kuleta watu wanaona ni huruma wanachangisha haifai kabisa sababu watu wanachangisha wakijua ni ukweli tunasaidia mtu real 
Una get? Yeah. So u boy. Okay, same tu. What what I really love about someone like Lin Gugi and uh, Tuko is the fact that unapata wow waki interview mtu wana make sure wanaeka number ya huyo mtu. Exactly. Now this boy doesn't do that. Now you are kwa hosted na Lin Gugi. Okay. Huyo boy okay. on the cases ya alikuwa na last ya wanawake wa mama zaza kidogo kidogo afungwe kwa sababu ya tabia kama hiyo sasa sasa hii last yake me change last yake ni ya youtube views and subscribers and of course swindling fans from people that are, are unsuspecting yes. and if i'm lying i'm ready to go to any police station and write a statement mm -hmm. and i'm ready to produce all these fake witnesses mm -hmm. when you mekuwa hapo kama jamaa anakuja anaitwa anasema ati alikuwa shakahola sana nikakuja nikapatana na huyo kijana unajua the good thing about my malls ni mtu akikuja kuleta ushahidi wa uongo ama anadanganya mimi naombia kuwa rafiki na huyo mtu get the contact jua na issue wapi so wakati nitakuwa nataka huyo mtu specific mimi si mimi ndaenda my mall will go there aongea na huyo mseni aje eh tulikuwa nataka kuna kipindi kingine so wakifikiria ni kipindi kingine kwenda kudanganya watu truth watch dog ametokea we bro utasema ukweli ama ni kuitia mapolisi sahi hapa choose one you apologize and you accept like you made a mistake so alileta kijana kadanganya kuhusu DJ Brownskin yeah. alikuwa watchman yeah. huyo msiana ni uongo sasa kuna kijana watchman wa DJ uh, Brownskin hiyo pia ni uongo huyo kijana ajui DJ Brownskin hajawahi kuwa kwake pale walikuwa wanapigia show sio kwake una get huyo boy hamjui kabisa the boy is only 19 years old na unajua hii ni kujihatarisha maisha because wase wenye wanapenda DJ Brownskin wakakutana na huyo kijana it will not be a story like mimi nakaa hapa niambia wase we ambia watu kweli itakuwa ni vita una get uliharibia mse contract uliharibia mse kazi kwa maneno yako anaenda father kuleta ati pastor Ezekiel huyu huyu kijana aliponea alisaidiwa kidogo akufe alisaidiwa kiwa kwa pastor Ezekiel pastor Mackenzie unaona sasa ukijana kuja elezee story za shakahola kijana hajawahi kanyaga huko kuna kijana mwingine anaitwa Kevin anadanganya ati alikuwa kwa pastor Mackenzie akamwambia achome certificate zake una get mimi nataka huyo kijana anaitwa Kevin tuende atuonyeshe ndio hapa nilichomea certificate zangu na nilikuwa na huyu pastor any evidence hawana kitu yote na wana huruma Jeff amekufa ameleta fake girlfriend to Jeff imagine mtu amekufa bro huyo kijana kae hapo au huyo msichana azungumze kuhusu Jeff Alafu bila aibu nikamwambia nitatoa video moja ya huyu kijana. Kuja wa apologize to Kenyans, pull down all these fake videos. Una get? Akwa na marafiki kadhaa na kuambia huyu ni wa kwanza. Na watoa karibu 17 17 YouTubers ambao wanadanganya watu. Kuna wengi ah wadogo wadogo kwanza upcoming. Wako na ile aja kutaka ku grow haraka sana. Subs na pesa. Subs views. na pesa na views. So hii tama yao inawafanya tunakosa ile relevance. Yes. Nugget. Yes. Ali utakosa relevance if if kama mtu anza kuitana, ita if mungai, ita our ita our bloggers wote. Waambie bro, kwa hii group kuna watu wana mess. Na tunaji mess kikubwa sana. Sababu utakuwa na letter true story Ali. Nimekuwa na juzu natembea na kijana mlemavu. Watu watakwambia una raise pesa yako wewe. Hata uboe kama na get do, watasema wewe una raise pesa yako. Kwa sababu wameona 1 2 3 4 5 people doing the same thing. Watakwamini aje? How different are you? You're no on ma. the same platform. No, my son. Una get? Yeah. So I'm just calling upon, I'm ready to be hosted by any YouTuber out there. Ni mm. waambie, right now it is the time you form groups. Anytime na notice mse, mm -hmm. tunamuambia, bro, usipoacha yu jinga, you may attend, ata simbele atu, usipoacha yu jinga, mm -hmm. tutaku expose, una get? Mm -hmm. So this is just one, but there are about 16 people who do the same thing, mm -hmm. swindling fans, and they don't care. Yeah. Kuna dem saya an anaishi hapa kithorai mm -hmm. Uyo dem akona over 500,000 views mm -hmm. Akidanganya venya mekunyishwa damu mm -hmm. Venya meona pasta Ezekiel na macho mm -hmm. Ameona pasta Mackenzie na macho mm -hmm. Una get? Mm -hmm. Waki huwa watu Waki kunyishwa watu damu Uyo dem anasema liku hapo mm -hmm. Nani uongo Ni, imagine 500,000 people watching this. Since they are scared about DJ, uh, about Pastor Ezekiel, they start sharing. Why? Wow, Ineza kwa ni ukweli. Ineza ni ukweli. So out of that 500,000, that is just one channel. And uh, TikTok. Bro, views. Ma millioni. Ma millioni ya ma views. So kumanisha wanatengeneza hela nzuri sana. Wanatengeneza hela, lakini wanawaribu. Mubiri anaribu wa jinaake. Pastor Ezekiel amekosea kuna uongo kuna mani nini nini ya pasi nafanyika ni sawa. Hatu katai. Unaona? Ni sawa. Wewe fanya uchunguzi wako, share na wale watu kile ambacho nakijua na uko na evidence. Yeah.
Una get? Yeah. Lakini sio kwenda kuleta mtu unamwambia alika hapa. Sasa utasema ulikuwa shakaola. Yeah. Alafu uko na watu kumi wakauawa. Mm-hmm. Watu kumi Pastor Ezekiel akachukua damu na kikombe akakunywa ukaona hivi mm-hmm. na macho yako. Mm-hmm. Manze wana do hizi vitu na wako serious. Mm-hmm. But the truth is this girl has never been even to Mombasa live alone kilifi. <laughs> Ajawai kanyaga huko. Mm-hmm. So vitu kama hizi zina niudhi na kachini na shindua. Wewe unajua Pastor Ezekiel? Amekukosea. Kuna mtu ulipeleka kwa apone akashindwa. Mm-hmm. Una get? Mm-hmm. Ulikuwa unataka kifanyike nini? They have never come in contact with Pastor Ezekiel. Hata hapa kasarani wakati alikuja they were never there. Mm-hmm. So hizi vitu zenye hawa sio nafanya mm-hmm. tuna lose authentic- authentication yetu sisi. Mm-hmm. Watu nasema kweli sababu unakuja hapa nasema kweli like the other. Utaambia nini wa Kenya na wanajua hivyo ndio mnafanya. Yeah. So that's why we have to start fighting back in these early stages. Mm-hmm. Either warekebishe mm-hmm. or what after kitu ya kudu, na get? Yeah. yeah. Na pengine kwa wa Kenya ambao huwa wa, wamejitolea wana ronzuri of course za kusaidia watu ambao wamejitokeza, kuna mtu mgonjwa, kuna mtu anapitia kitu fulani, kuna mtu amedhulumiwa, na wanajitokeza wanampatia f- different forms of support pesa wengine unajua wa Kenya ambao wako outside the country they really support wananunulia hata watu hata mashamba unge washauri vipi ndio wa make sure kwamba hawakwikond by these guys first of all mm-hmm. subscribe to truth watchdog official yes hiyo youtube subscribe hapo mostly utapata wale watu tushanika mm-hmm. ndio bado wana hunt wa say they don't by the way these scammers and thieves they don't give up mm-hmm. wanajuanga tuko na kamtu kwa kajui mm-hmm. so the first thing is go subscribe to truth watchdog official go to some of the videos mm-hmm. unaweza kuona una huyu mtu ndio anaomba bro just last week part 1 mm-hmm. i stopped 80000 from being sent to a fake person wow. live on tiktok mm-hmm. jamaa kwa usi Mm-hmm. Uh, ni demo actually ako kwa usiana sema aki tafadhali fanyeni fundraising nini nini so demo hapo ana text how much is that for that medicine? Wakamwambia 80,000. So 80,000 unajua watu wanatuma so mbili, yeah. thao, thao mbili, hivyo kidogo kidogo. So this lady from Germany anaitwa Karo akasema anataka kulipa hiyo 80,000 once. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. Lucky. Hiyo hiyo tu ni one cases of being lucky. So I was there nikasema, "We wait. Before before msea tumedo ngojeni kiasi." Mm-hmm. Mimi nataka kuuliza tu swali. You have done 40 videos mm-hmm. of this sick person. Hakuna relative wa wote. Mwenye shai kama kumvisit. Mm-hmm. Uka post video. Like mama ake alikuwa hapa. Ama baba ake. Mm-hmm. So we tundio relative. Mm-hmm. Wacha uongo bro. Mm-hmm. There is no way ali utakuwa mgonjwa. Mm-hmm. Mama ako akose kukuja set. Ata kama, una, ata kama pengine uh, watu wa. Ata rafiki yako. Ata rafiki. Una get. Ati ni huu mse mmoja tu. Na huyu, na huyu mgonjwa. Mm-hmm. Nika sema, this is very questionable. You cannot do over 40 videos of a sick person. You are always there on TikTok. Hata upati huyu mtu pisi yake ya kupumzika. Wewe una fundraise tu. Wacha uongo. So nika kula block. Nika kuja na sudo account again. Nika ambia karona a rest of the people. Don't send any money. It's a scam. It was. Really? It was a scam. Hakuna mse mgonjwa. Huyu mse mgonjwa, anapatiwa incentives. Sio pesa inareziwa. Pesa inareziwa inaingia kwa mse. So yeye yeah, anali ako job pia huyu mgonjwa. Yeah, ako job. Mm-hmm. So the thing ni hivi, inafaa kama unataka kusaidia Truth Watchdog. Mm-hmm. Truth Watchdog anafaa kuja aseme wase, hii ndio namba yangu. Namba real. Hii namba real. Mm-hmm. Tumeni pesa hapa jina yangu ndio inakuja. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. Naweza withdraw hapa nikitumiwa do. Naweza tuma pale do. Mm-hmm. Ama this is my pay bill number and this is my name. This is my name, real name. Mm-hmm. Usijaribu kama mzee hajasema hivyo. Don't send money in Kenya. Yes. It is too much, like extremely too much. Wow. Another way, of course, I, I really love would be ku, kufungua platform kama Mchanga. If you are sick, ama unetaji msaada, unafungua Mchanga, yes. they'll give you a curated pay bill and business number. Amba unatumia, unaraise, target yako ni 100,000, ukisha fikisha, they give you the money. And they, of course, they have to follow up to make sure that it's legit. So kama kuna watu wengi amba wanataka kusaidika na wanasema kwa mba, this is my number, it's better ufungue Mchanga. Mchanga is good, go fund me also works and uh, something else like Patreon, though I'm not very very con- con- conversant with it. So, sio, sio, sio kila wakati kiona tu number pale online kwa watu mba wanatazama. Unatuma tu pesa, unashikuwa na unatuma tu pesa. Especially TikTok. Mm-hmm. Wase TikTok chungeni sana, kuna fundraising mm-hmm. ni scam. Okay. 99.9, ata yu mgonjwa mnona hizi ongea, it's all bullshit. It's a scam. Mm-hmm. 
Una get? Mm. And uh, people have taken advantage of TikTok because TikTok ni kitu ina flow mbaya. Sana. Una get? Mm. So wanaitumia vibaya sana unapata mtu anasema pale go fund me for example. Go nini go nini. Ukichunguza hii case unapata ah. Wewe ni mpishi anapika uongo bana. Una get? Mm. Yeah, so guys be very vigilant. Be very careful, especially on TikTok. What mko abroad, mm -hmm. wase wa Gulf, mm -hmm. wazunye Germany, tafadhali. Just be very careful. Ninety-nine percent. I am saying ninety-nine percent with proof. It all scams. Wow. So be very careful before you send your money. I know you have that helping hand. Munazanza kutumia moto kama mimi ni takula pesa yenyu. Hey, itani saidi ya sana. But sita kuja na uongo akuleta wa gonjwa ni tumia watu kuraise funds. This is what that young man is doing. Na <coughs> how content creators kumna sabu, kumna sita wenye umesema, mm -hmm. amba wanafanya hivu, ungewa shauri vipi? It is not late to change the way you are doing it. Kuna, kuna moja anajita love made in Africa. Oho ndiyo kwanza, bado anaendelea tu hata after this expose. Bado anaendelea tu. Una get? Kuna huyo, staki kumtaja hapa na nibo sana. Bado anaendelea tu. Sasa anakuja kujustify like mimi na danganyo, nona? An edit video vibayo, sasa vizuri, an edit video hapa, akauliza huu msichana. Truth Watchdog na likutuma, msichana asama siju Truth Watchdog. Ulikutana na huu lavidavi, sasa my mall, lini, tulikutana kwa seta, tujai kutana. Lakini atakio information, anataka tulikutana, nani ya katuambia tufanya hivi, which is not true. So I made it video pia vibayo, lakini bado he insists on trying to convince Kenyans. Why? Because of the money that has been flowing through. Illegal money, tax free. Wana get? So wasewa kiwa serious, watachukuli oboe atua. Na wala ubaya sasa wala wanyo nani approach, si wala wanyo nataka kuchukwele mkondo ya kawaida. Like enda kwa police station, staki umu say amefanya defamation, because that is defamation, right? Amefanya defamation, alafu wana swindle funds. Wataki yo, wanataka kutana na ye, fanya venya watafanya the inaitongo the justice mob style iyo which i don't i don't really advocate for any of that mtu amekosea hata kama ni yo mackenzie kuna that's why we have a constitution and we have a law tufuate hiyo inakambaya inabo si poa sana take time let us follow that one una get so this boy is out there and i know he will still steal from watu wenye wasikiangi na kuna wakenye wengine ni kama wanalizaliwa kuibiwa au naambiaga watu kama hao ibia hao kabisa Una get? Yeah. But wale wa Kenya wanataka kujua information ama wanaibiwa kwa konini. That's why naambia tu it's easy. Subscribe. Please subscribe. Subscribe tupatie an information pale. Wow. Chukua 1 2 1 2 3. Elimisha mwanzako hit share, turn on my notification. Easy information zote bro na peana free of charge. Mm -hmm. I don't really ask for money from anyone. Mm -hmm. Just subscribe to my channel. That's all. Niki grow YouTube itanza kunilipa. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't need your money if I'm being paid actually for telling you what I'm supposed to. That's true. Yeah. By the way, congratulations to the Fanya interview na wewe Juzi ukiwa na 3000, sasa hivi unaelekea 15000 subscribers. Yes, so so far tuko 12000. Tuna tunatembea hapo. So wase tafadhali naomba tu nifikishie ni 230000 si mbaya bro. Uko na 300. Ah ah, uko na 375. Nipatie tu 78. Nipatie tu to 78. Useme we and then pale msikie ukweli. Yes. Mutarudi. Wow, guys, go subscribe to Truth <laughs> Watchdogs our official YouTube channel. Link iko kwenye comment section. Alafu muambie kwamba mmetumwa na mwanenu wa nguvu, presenter Ali the Entertainment P. Any story tu ambayo nimeona nifanye because of course uh, ilifikia muda pia mimi nika punguza tu kufanya the human interest stories kwa sababu ya one mtu anakuja na stories za uongo two unapata watu wana wanazitumia kama uh, mfumo wa kujitajirisha kwa hivyo for anyone watching this video kwa mtu yote ambaye unaona kwamba anafaa kusaidiwa fanya uchunguzi wako vizuri make sure kwamba namba ni yake na tatu also make sure the source is also credible subscribe to truth watchdog youtube channel asante sana thank you for, for your time asante kwa kuja pia na kuelimisha wa kenya maneno yako ya mwisho kwa mashabiki tafadhali tuwe macho tuelimishane na tupendane kwenye mitandao tusiwe na chuki kenyans for kenyans yes Peace. Amazing sana. Mina ito our presenter Ali, your entertainment PA, the A is always for amazing. Behind the camera, kuna kaka na director Frank. I will see you guys in the next video. Poleni nimekuwa na homa kidogo lakini tumemale Justin Tini.